very cute. So moving on to the next transformation, this one is actually going to feature some color. And she went with a very bright fuchsia. So she's got line design on the side. This is hot. Very cute. So next up looks like someone is trying to achieve that kind of rainbowed edges. And she's using wax paint in order to do this, which is very smart because this is a temporary look. Perfect if you just want to do something for a night of fun. Very cute. And then next up looks like someone's trying to do the split dye trend. That is where your hair is dyed on one side. It's a different color on one side than it is from the other. So if you want a more detailed variation or storytelling of what the split dye trend is, check out my sister channel, Fashion Trend Seeker. I talk a lot about hair trends on that channel. If you guys are interested, it is linked on my main page as well as in the description box, I believe. So she's doing wax paint for this trend, which is smart once again. If you just wanna mix it up for a night, use some wax paint and just have some fun with color for a day. You don't have to worry about damaging your hair and you can still try out some vivid trends. Speaking of vivid trends, she's gonna be using this very neon green braided hairstyle to do this next look. Wow, sis, this is a loud color. So what she's doing in the front in order to kind of blend the hair in is she is using some kind of paint, hair paint with this, which is actually really smart. As long as the hair paint doesn't damage your hair though. I'm not really feeling that that paint look in the front. It doesn't really look right. So next up, we see someone. She has like highlights. So it looks like she just has like highlights throughout her entire head. This is a really cute style. And it looks like she's gonna put in some braids. Why does it look like she's like in the sauna doing her hair? Like I keep on thinking she's in the sauna. <laughs> Could you imagine braiding your hair in the sauna? That would be so hot and painful and you would just probably like pass out. These braids are cute though. They look like it's her hair. Like honestly, you would have to be up close and not be able to tell. Oh, this burgundy hair shade she has is so pretty. It looks like she probably did the color herself, but it came out good. And it's like lighter in the front, darker in the back. Really love it. So next up looks like someone is doing some braids. So she's trying to do like mini braids and then she added beads. Loving the beads with braid trend. So glad that it's making a comeback. Yes, so cute. Yeah, that look looks good. I love like the natural looking beads too, like the color, the browns and the tans. 
That looks so much better than like the color ones we used to use back in the day. So next up, someone is dyeing their hair. So she's using like a reddish tone. I've always wanted to dye my own hair, but I've always been too scared because I'm like, I don't know, I don't like playing kitchen beautician when it comes to my hair. And like dyeing your hair is one of those things that's like, you gotta know what you're doing. Like I just, I can't. It came out pretty though. So next up looks like someone is doing some color with their weave. So she's dyeing her own hair first. And then she's gonna braid it up. Now, honestly, I'm gonna be real with y'all. She did not need to dye her hair for this look. I think she could have just did the color weave, mixed it in with some black, and then kept her own roots black. And she would have been good. But she wanted to go blonde, blonde with this. And I'm not gonna lie, it looked like it's coming out good so far. Whenever I watch these videos, it's like the girl will be looking all basic and then when they do their makeup and stuff and they do the big reveal, it just be like, woo, bomb, like model. <laughs> That hair color did look good when she, you know, showed the final results. So this was looking bomb, like I'm not gonna lie. So she is doing her own homemade hair conditioner. Oh, I love her hair color. The highlights are gorgeous. She probably got that done professionally. There's no way she did that color herself. It just looks too good. So for this look, she's pretty much doing a wash and go. And then here's some blonde locks getting braided up. Alright you guys, I hope you enjoyed checking out this video with me. Be sure to give it a like if you did and I will see you in the next one.